How you doing everybody? Emmett Ferguson here and this video is inspired by uh, Chris Ramsey. Uh, that's R-A-M-S-A-Y and he's a magician and he also does a lot of puzzles and I wanted to get go out and you know do something that that gets my mind going that um, you know kind of kind of teases my mind and you know makes me think so I went out and picked up some of these puzzles and I wanted to get these out to you get this video for you now this is uh, made by True Genius. They're a puzzle company. They've got a lot of puzzles that you can get at um, some retail stores. And there's a link in the description below to get this set if you want it. Um, but overall, this is uh, I found a bunch of puzzles out there when I was uh, over shopping at Barnes and Nobles. And when I was over there, um, they had they had all sorts of difficulty level puzzles from from five star to three star to four star, two star, and five star. So I think the challenge on these puzzles is that they're they're pretty good. And for anyone from beginner to a uh, someone who's more advanced, and I imagine that once you finish one or two of these puzzles, that at some point, you know, you start to get better and better at them. And the Chris Ramsey channel, totally check it out. He's got a lot of fun puzzles that he does that range from like, you know, extremely difficult to, you know, $10,000 puzzles. Now, what's cool about this, I mean, if you're getting a gift for somebody, this will make a great gift. I mean, just feeling the box. I mean, the box is really nice. I know that sounds like a weird thing to do, to say, but you can tell that this is high quality packaging. They spent a lot of time on this and that, you know, it's very, very culture oriented as well. Because if you look at all these puzzles, uh, there's a Chinese tea puzzle. There is the Greek watermill, the Egyptian pie puzzle. Roman keys, the Aztec, um, the Aztec passion flower. So there's quite a few puzzles in here at all different levels. And, you know, this definitely makes a great decoration set as well. Or even if you have like an office, somebody has an office. I've seen puzzles like these just in a waiting room in an office for people that are waiting. So, um, with that go looking at some of these um, some of these, the history of some of these puzzles, um, there, there's credit to the Emperor Shen Nong was the first person to use tea leaves and boiling water during the march with his army in 2737 BC. For thousands of years since, this aromatic brew warmed social gatherings and was sipped as a social, as a medicinal cure. The history of tea has deep roots in China's rich culture. Our classic puzzle is a staple ingredient in any puzzle collection and is as time honored as china's true genius so ultimately it tells you the goals right here you gotta take the puzzle apart put it back together another one is to remove the metal pieces from the bronze housing another one is take the puzzle apart and put it back together and then another one is separate the keys that's what the roman keys are about and a final goal is to take the puzzle apart and put it back together. So, um, you know, there seems to be a common theme in at least these smaller puzzles. You know, they fit in the palm of your hand, as you can see. So these smaller puzzles, they allow you to, you know, they're pretty simple. You take them apart, put them together. You know, they could probably be done in a few minutes. So um, with that, there's a story behind each of these puzzles, which is great. You know, the, there's more meaning behind these puzzles than simply... Uh, the fact that they're a puzzle. Um, the, the Roman keys were inspired by when the Babylonians and Egyptians uh, created lock mechanisms and Romans innovated on them. The Aztec passion flower, they pioneered homeopathic medicine and they harnessed and they harvested the healing power of I'm reading upside down right now, herds and, herbs and spices. So, you know, all of these puzzles have their own history and a cultural background, which I really like. I mean, just the box alone, high quality. It's cardboard, but just the colors, I don't know. Something about it makes it feel like it's, it's antique or it's just something special coming from, you know, an ancient ancient warehouse so great packaging on this it's a this is a curated collection it comes with five puzzles in one from various cultures throughout history made by project genius
So um, there's a link in the description below. I'm going to go ahead and pop this open now and see what this is all about. Now, obviously, you know, you got to pop this open right here. There's a little, little notch here. No puzzle about that. It's pretty simple. And then, you know, you bring this cardboard box open. It looks like a very high quality gift. It's got a photo of um, the the man. I forget who who made this. I think it was either Michelangelo or Leonardo da Vinci. Um, and there's this is a depiction of man and you know their 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 shape. And here we're gonna go ahead and pull out this box on the inside. Hey, there's a Great Wall of China right there, and then uh, I think that's a Russian, famous Russian building, the Roman Colosseum. Cool. So if you're a world traveler, this is probably a great gift for any world travelers, people who like to go to different countries and explore, and you know who like the mysteries of the world. So, uh, looking at these puzzles, they're packaged pretty nicely. This looks like something you could put on a shelf or leave on a desk. And just kind of have there sitting, you know. Oh, one fell out, but here we go. Popping it right back in. You know, it doesn't look like you could just sit on that shelf right there. And look like a nice little decoration. So, here we go one more time. Here's the two boxes. We're going to try to make sure that that doesn't fall out again. We're going to go ahead and put this box aside now. And take a look at these puzzles one by one. Now, here we've got a... I'm going to have to go through these one by one. Now here we've got the Chinese tea puzzle. And this looks fun. The Chinese tea puzzle looks like you got a you got all these little wood block pieces. And it looks like they come apart somehow. Yeah. Just pop that up. And somehow they come apart. And then you just got to put them all back together. I'm not going to do it right now. I'll go ahead and do those in a separate video. But this looks like a fun little... Fun little block of uh, excitement. Now here's another puzzle. This is the Greek water mill. It's inspired by... Um, there's a surplus of food that helps sustain the Greek empire. Made unchanged. The puzzle offers a simple mechanical design as refined as the Greek's true genius. So right there. Greek water mill. Go ahead and take a look at that. And this looks... I don't know what this actually has to do with tea. I guess it has to do with a mill. But it looks like you just gotta separate these pieces somehow. And it's already stuck. Like, I, I just did this one little, one little turn and somehow... Oh, here we go. So, with that... With that, it looks like there's a few really really uh, intricate pieces here and um, you know there's you can see on the inside how this piece works and this is pretty pretty high quality material it feels pretty heavy um, you know it's not just a, a piece of plastic you know it's definitely a piece of high quality uh, metal or whatever it is now on top of that this is the Greek water mill puzzle and it looks like, yeah, you jingle these pieces around and then figure out that puzzle. This is a level three puzzle in terms of difficulty. And then <clears throat> we've got the Egyptian pie puzzle. Has to do with engineering, precision engineering. So this looks like a little ball that you have to push certain things apart and then get it back together. Um, now looking at the ball, it's a pretty smooth ball. And let's see, I don't know, I can't even, let's figure out how to get this even started. I guess trying to figure out how to separate it as part of the puzzle, right? At least for some people. So... You know, we'll put that on hold right now. This is a level four difficulty, so I'm not quite at level four yet. Now, you know, that Chris Ramsey guy might might have an easier time getting this apart. But uh, 
you know, tap this and then it all falls apart or something. So, you know, we'll put that on hold, this level four ball, and then we'll go on to the next one. And here we've got, oh, hey, so the Roman keys, if you ever notice, if you ever notice that each of these little sections are made differently to hold the, hold the puzzles separately. So the ball, the one that I just showed you, the Egyptian ball has these little grooves and the one with the, the Chinese tea has these little grooves as well. So this is a very well designed uh, puzzle box. And even the ones with the keys, see it's held in there by a, by something. I don't know if it's supposed to just pull on it. Yeah, looks like it's just a little nodule. Oh, here we go. All right. And then this one, you just got to separate the keys. So pretty fun, simple little, little looking puzzle, you know, simple concept. But I guess the, the actual doing of it might be a little harder. You know, you see these little pieces. You could turn it around. Um, and then you can move it somehow. It looks like you might be able to move it around or, or something. So... These feel pretty high quality. This this feels very, uh, very sturdy. This part, actually, I don't know. Some mix between like a heavy duty plastic or metal, but um, this is definitely seems seems pretty sturdy. Yeah, maybe this is probably, this could be some sort of metal, a very light metal. Now with that, um, that is the, the Roman keys. And finally, we've got the Aztec Passion Flower. So we're going to take a look at the Aztec Passion Flower. It's got these little grooves that hold it in, fortunately, so it doesn't drop out. And of course, this is another one where you have to pull it apart. Where you have to pull it apart. And I don't want to mess it up right now because I want to be able to figure this out on a separate on a separate video but you know definitely definitely would require some time right I, I I don't do many puzzles so this is definitely something that I'm looking very much forward to now we've got the, the Aztec passion flower we've got the uh, the Roman keys Roman keys that you have to pull apart. You've got the Egyptian pie that you gotta take apart somehow and then put back together, which I could definitely see this just sitting around on a desk in a lobby somewhere that someone ends up trying to figure out for a little while. We've got the, uh, oh wow, it's like I almost figured this out. What? No way. All right, well somehow I almost figured this out because like if you remember there was these pieces and they were swinging around somehow and then yeah something something wild happened and it seemed like I almost figured it out but anyway anyway this is seems like a fun one um because you see feel like you're progressing with every every turn of these knobs which is pretty cool and that's the Greek watermelon and finally Chinese tea so I'm looking forward to to doing these so uh, be sure to check out those future videos check out the link in the description below and as a matter of fact this feels like it's gonna like just jiggle itself apart and then i'm gonna have to figure out how to put it back together so that's totally exciting and with that finally thank you so much for watching this video that that wraps up the uh, true genius curated collection group of five puzzles these five puzzles are in a high quality high quality box um, totally affordable, very cultural gift that, you know, tries to tie in puzzles that are inspired from different cultures. They've got their stories about them and uh, definitely a, a great gift opportunity for anybody who likes puzzles, who likes games or, you know, who just has an office where people are waiting around. They just need something to, to play around with. And these are like great, cute little decorations. I mean, just look at that. Little decorations that you can just keep around. And it's like, what are they? It makes you... For, for someone who likes having nice 
antique looking things that uh, add a little edge to the decoration cabinets. These are great. They all fit in your palm, in your hands as well. So you can take these anywhere you want to go. And uh, with that, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got a lot out of it. And I wish you the best. Uh, be sure to look out for the rest of the videos of me uh, figuring out how to specifically um, take them apart, put them back together, and solve these puzzles. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.